A lot of y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you because I love black men so much. Stop wasting your time with black women. Stop. They not loving you. They not listening. They not willing to submit. They think they too independent to be submissive and be equal and be a companion and be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. When you're going through your man's phone, <laughs> for all my girls that do that, when you're in the messages, top left corner, hit edit. The very bottom option says show recently deleted. Oh my God. Sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It's but why should they? And why would they even want to? After all, women have been telling men over and over again to leave them alone. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. Let me fix my mic right here. This your podcast. This your Lotion CJ in the building. What's up, good people? You know, this one, bro, I had to wear my, my Sixers shit. Yeah, my man dropped that 70 piece. 70 piece nugget. <laughs> yeah, I mean, B dropped that 70 piece on San Antonio last night. Shout out to the Sixers for holding it down, even though the Eagles couldn't do what they uh, were supposed to do. So this might be a revelation to most people, but yeah, listen, man. Uh, my Lions are in the NFC Championship, so uh, shout out to the uh, city, but <laughs> yeah. My boys ain't been there ever, so I'm hyped. How far you think they're gonna go, bro? We going to the bowl. Come on, dog. You, you think so? Cinderella. Listen, Michigan. Oh. Michigan won a national championship, so uh-huh. we we gonna ride the the, uh-huh. the championship wave out in Michigan. So <laughs> we going to the bowl. I don't, uh. even, I don't even care if we win. No, I do care because the Super Bowl is on my actual birthday. So I definitely want a Super Bowl win for my birthday, but. We oh, then that's a party party. Listen, I'm I'm calling out of work the next that's night. A party, that's, that's a party next party. We, you know what I'm saying? This your own podcast. Let's go. We got a good one for y'all tonight, as usual. As usual. Our viral videos. But before we get started, we need you to hit that like button. Like. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Share this joint. And right? Comment yeah. too, man. We definitely appreciate yeah. all the love. Now, hey, listen, even if you don't appreciate the shit, just still drop a comment. Exactly. Say that you hate our guts, man. Who What's up, hey. T? He in the house. Look at this. That's a homegirl right there. That's how she was cutting up last week. Yeah, she was, yeah she was acting bad, as they said. <laughs> T, you were cutting up last week. God damn it. Acting bad. But listen, enough of all that bullshit talk, because I know you ain't coming here to hear us talk. Shall we slide into the first video, bro? Let's get it started. Let's, let's let Peanut kick this off. It's yeah. this jump podcast. Oh. What you said. Let's go. How do y'all don't want to hear this? But I'm gonna tell you because I love black men so much. Uh, come Stop wasting your time with black women. Stop. Oh, they not shit. loving you. <laughs> they not listening. They not willing to submit. They Shots think they too fire. independent to be submissive <laughs> and be equal and be a companion <laughs> and be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. Oh, Lord. She's going to get money, damn. have good credit, <laughs> oh, Lord. come with a house and, and land and, and still be submissive. Go get you a white woman. Still be submissive. Sure is. They still going to submit and still treat you and love your dirty jaws. <laughs> love you on your sweatiest day and not talk about you to her uh, other caring friends. She's not going to talk about your business. Go get you a white woman. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. She's, Listen. She, Go get you a white man. woman. She's firing shots. These black helpers don't Damn. appreciate you, you <laughs> black so king. I heard Y'all don't want me like because 94. I'm too loud. Y'all yeah. don't want me because I'm too oversexual, but I'm submissive. I got my own money. I got my own this. I got my own that. I ain't got no fucking um, um, sense. Damn, Damn. At least she honest, bro. <laughs> Yo, she going hard. She, she didn't waste. She wasted zero time. Yeah. She told us for us to stop wasting our time. The highlight of the, of the, the video, she called y'all heifers. <laughs> That's how upset she was. Y'all heifers. Like, so let me ask you, dog. Do you think our black women are capable of submitting to, of to course. the black man? Of course. 
I think I was I was listening to uh, Kevin Samuels on the way over here, and I know that a lot of a lot of women don't like Kevin Samuels, but um, he made a great point. He said that what what he thinks is that right now we in um, information overload, like we just getting too much of everything. You can have everything at your fingertips when you go on social media. You can you, you can go in your DMs as a woman, and you know we'll say back in two thousand. I'll say for, for for the women my age. Yeah, back in two thousand two. You might only get, you know, maybe say 20 to 30 men like, oh, you look good. You do this in a given time frame, maybe like a week. Whereas now you can go in your DM and literally have a thousand men telling you you are God's gift to the world. Gift, yeah. Queen gift, and this and that. So we, I think that we just in that information overload where it's really like hypnotizing men and women. But since we talk about women, it's really hypnotizing them to think that they're more than what they are and i'm not saying that that, that they're less of anything but it's nah. just like you just get in too much of it so you get in, it's like being cocky and not understand that like oh wait wait a minute yeah you, you, social media is not real so in your environment you ain't gonna meet the type of guys you think that you are and capable you, yeah, of and and and, being and, with. and and let me add i don't i don't think it's a it, 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 tea right there it, it, i guess i'm white it, it, i don't think that it is the type of women she's talking about our age or the older woman it seems of course it's the younger generation because right. they, they're they're born into the social media right era. they're born into the social media yep. age where they they have to have their phone they got it they, they attach to their phone laptop mm -hmm. tablets they're attached to it yeah you know what i mean they are influenced by the social media and and and, and everything that's going on so it, to me it's is i mean it's a shame that it it really shows that like community and like you know that whole it takes a village to raise a child mm -hmm. and and home like the home has to be stronger than ever these days because if you don't have that base at home you got a good mom that's you know telling you the right things how to move and be confident and all those other how things to man if they if not you're going to drown in that pool of social media because you go out and it's telling you to um again it's just false false information about <laughs> how they think how life is going to be and it's like that's not how life work it don't work like that you can't just be going out here thinking you're going to find this million dollar man who just going to put up with your your bs your, your entitlement your bs like, period. that's not how the what? world me, works now let me ask you now when did you think this whole thing completely shift from oh. from men being leaders of the household so now women just want to be not only boss chicks, but they want to be they want to be men. I just I just think just with the rise of social it, media, being able to go on social media and hear somebody because, again, everybody does it when you when you're mm -hmm. in a certain emotion. It was rare before that you could go and find a support group for that emotion. Oh, yeah. But okay. now you can go on social media. And if you if you don't like your man's toenails, you can Shit. go find a group. Yeah, girl. <laughs> or you go on toenails. Facebook, bro. Yeah. There's 15,000 of us out there. Toenail haters. Right. And Women so, only. Right. <laughs> so it's like now that I got this platform and I can find people that, that think just like me. Now I think that this is the majority. And I say, uh -huh. all, I say all the time, not not all women, but a lot of women they speak from the exception and not yeah. the rule. Yeah. Well, I know a girl. I know a man that make a million dollars. Well, how many of them you know? You only yeah. know one, so that makes it the, the exception, not the yeah. rule. And so, because the, we have these spaces where you can think about the exception, and then you got other people who yeah, think that yeah, way. Yeah, just, just now, down. everybody, and now, now it's a space for it. And yep. so, that's yeah. where it's, it's going wrong. And T, I listen. T, T says not just that. To keep in mind of the women's empowerment movement. That was the face that gave women a voice. Now, T, I'm, I'm going to say this. I think, in my opinion, I think the feminism and the women movement was just a government way of pulling wool over the women's eyes. Because now they got you in the workforce. Right. Making more money for them. Right. And again, most people don't know that the whole feminism movement, that was white, that was white women it, against it was, white, white men. Yeah. They were mad that the our white, women had nothing to do with nothing. It. <laughs> and what they seen was, wait, as the as the feminist movement is moving, so is civil rights. And so we over here saying, listen, we just want to be seen as humans, all of us. And again, yeah, when you think about civil rights, the, the, the leaders of the civil rights movement, they weren't saying that they only wanted rights for men. They were saying we want rights for, for us as for black us. people. Exactly. Exactly. The white women were over there doing their own thing and then just say, hey, black women, come over here. 
And then they like, oh, wait, well, yeah, we won. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, come on up. Y'all, yeah. y'all messed it all up. And again, no, no blame on anybody. But it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, that was their agenda. Let them keep their agenda. Again, women, let them keep their beauty standards. Those long yeah. weaves and all straight hair and blonde and this and all. That's not our standards. We didn't create no black man. So, oh, you know what? Damn, man, I don't like these women because they hair not blonde. They, yeah, we don't. We don't care. They, ain't not, yeah. they don't understand. Like, hit that like button. Make sure y'all like this. Leave a comment. And tell us what you think. This your own podcast. We appreciate the love. You know what I'm Slide to that number. That number two. Yeah, let's go to number two. Let's go to number two. Number two. Video number two. Deuce. Two. We have a woman who exposes this hidden iPhone feature. Yes, let me say it again. We have a woman. That exposes the hidden iPhone feature. Informant. <laughs> that will show women if their man is cheating on them. See, that's exactly why I don't like iPhones. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying exactly why. Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. When you're going through your man's phone, for all my girls that do that, when you're in the messages, oh. top left <laughs> corner, hit edit. The very bottom option says show recently deleted she dropping a oh secret god let me look this did up did you know this everybody on iphones look look, 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 look at their stuff up now it literally <laughs> pulls up all my deleted messages <laughs> and then you can literally tap See? on them like men don't cheese and, and hit recover and you get the messages back and then it goes back stop playing this is for the girls i love you guys oh lordy listen all i'm gonna say is iphone who hurt you <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, who, who hurt you that bad? Yep. Black men don't cheat, so we ain't got no reason to worry about that. So if that's what she do with her yeah. man. More, you know, kudos to her. But uh, we, I don't we, have any recently deleted because I ain't have nothing to delete because I ain't been doing nothing. So I'm, I'm in the clear. But um, yeah, like if you got to do all this, bye. What's the point? If you feel like you have to go and <laughs> go through the delete, <laughs> come on, stop. Team Android all the way. Black men, we been not cheating. <laughs> oh, see, I don't know where you been at, but like, it, it, black men don't we cheat. We don't do that. It could tell you, first of all, <laughs> the minute I got started going through my man's phone, I must leave him alone because that means all trust is gone. Yeah, and, and I don't want to live like that. T, I completely agree with and you. And listen, T. as a, um, as a uh, former and recovering uh, a yeah. uh, member of the cheating society. Cheat society. <laughs> uh, yes, I can. I, listen, I I have been um, guilty of many things, so I I get it. But where I'm at in my listen, life man. now, like, I, well, first of all, I've never went. I did go through a woman's phone, but only because she, she was trying to come listen. at me. So I, I wanted to see like if the energies was matching. But at the end of the day. Come on, man. Like, hey, I'm not doing all of that. Ladies, the, like, wait, wait it was bro, too much. Bro, like, the ability to just pull up old deleted messages are some CIA type shit, though. I mean, women are. I mean, damn. I, I honestly think yeah, it was a guy. the CIA Senate. It was a guy, whoever created the CIA, he was at home. His <laughs> wife did some old <laughs> other stuff. He said, yeah, hold man. up. I gotta create a whole agency like this because she is the she's the best spy <laughs> gonna, ever. Yo, hold on, man. Yeah, so I think the CIA was created yeah. behind a woman's. You know, who that Uber? What up, bro? What up? What what's good, man? Glad you could join us for the night as usual. Now listen, man. I remember back in the day, man, when you know your girlfriend, she used to crack your phone, and no matter what code you had, she was able to crack that bad boy. Listen, now they making it extra easy for the cheaters out there. Listen, now. man. Listen, man. If you if you a cheater. You got an iPhone, just stop it, man. Yeah, you can't be a cheater. You, you can't be the cheater with an iPhone. Get a beeper, bro. Just get a beeper. <laughs> hey, Let's go get the two-way pager. Yeah, go get you a sidekick. <laughs> I heard they might be coming back out. Just It's not worth it. This iPhone. I heard a, a thing where your AirPods, it's something about they don't go off. So, like, you could turn. Yeah, you, you could, could actually listen. Off. You could listen to the conversation. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I think, if, if I say it correct it, if I say it correct it, I think you can leave one earbud in one room yeah and, and you're listening on the other come on yeah, oh that's a whole lot of nothing dog. again i'm not a cheater anymore so i'm cool off of that but damn they're making yeah. it hard out there for y'all y'all gotta chill like just either be honest or don't have a because you go get or, or, 
for the team Android. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I've been team Android. If it wasn't for business, I would not have this iPhone. But oh man, it's too much. That's what I'm saying. It's too yeah, much. It, is, it is, man. It is, man. Listen, just join podcast, man. <laughs> Leave your comment. Make sure y'all comment. Tell us what you think. Like, like, drop that like. Share this joint. You know how we do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do. Team Android all day, baby. I'm listen, I had Android <laughs> for years. I used to get so much smoke. Back Boy, in the I day, I had, a, I had a 750 BMW. I was in my 20s. And so I remember like going out DJing or whatever. Girl like, oh, what's up? I want to get your number. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll wait. wait, you got that BMW outside and you got an Android? And I'm like... What's wrong with that? Yes, I used to get flat. Yes, heifer. <laughs> yes, heifer. <laughs> now, if I see Wilson definitely supporting CJ. Hey, because CJ the man over Hey, Miss Mickey, how you doing? Yeah, I appreciate hey. the support. This joint podcast, man. Should we slide to that, that video? Man, hit that next one, man. So listen, video number three. Dr. Umar, everybody's favorite doctor. My guy. You know what I'm saying? Philly's own Dr. Umar. Emotionally damaged people are always sexually promiscuous. Uh, is that is any validity to that? Uh, I'll speak to it after. Yeah, the video. Let's see. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. Emotionally damaged people are always sexually promiscuous. Let me say this again. Mm. If you are traumatized, if you are mm. emotionally damaged, mm. you are promiscuous. And do you want to know why? Dang. Why is that? Tell us. Emotionally traumatized people require constant validation from others. You married to a woman who's been traumatized, abuse, abandonment, whatever. When you're not around her for too many days, she has to entertain another man because her trauma dictates constant validation. And constant mm. validation means I must have a man in my personal space. This is, you ever date a woman who was crazy about you? Ooh, she absolutely right loved now. you, so you thought <laughs> it was really addiction. Yes. When, when you finally let her go, when you finally got her to stop stalking you, she ended up with another man like that. Mm, and your hell, ego yeah. took a hit. You said, wait a minute. I know that woman was crazy about me. Climbed in my window, came to my ch- You understand? She was cr- <laughs> <laughs> She was crazy about your presence in her life. And the minute you distanced yourself from her life, she found a replacement without a problem. Emotionally damaged people are promiscuous because they cannot go without constant validation. They need that validation. They need it. Most of our promiscuous women are damaged women. They're not having sex because they love having sex. Mm. They're having sex because they have learned this is the only way I can get a man's attention. Mm. Oh, man. T says everyone has some sort of emotional trauma. So I guess it makes all of us. T, you don't agree, T? Hey, you know what? I... I have dated some overly sexual women. I don't want to put myself in. I don't want to say his shoes, but I I, I see what he's saying. Because I, I have I have I have been there like, damn, girl, you you were just actually climbing through my window, and now you got a new man just like that. And I don't know. I mean, are you stalking him? So I mean, I, I agree with some parts that he said, and some parts not. But um, I say for myself, a month after my twenty first birthday, seeing my dad have a heart attack, drop dead in my mother's kitchen. And so, you know, dealing with that trauma, my mom coming home, you know, 30 years married and her husband is now gone and dealing with her emotions. They say uh, energy is transferable. So I'm trying to console my mother, you know, who birthed me, who just lost her husband of 30 years. And now once I get her together, it's nobody there to console me. Okay. And so the, the way that I, you know, emotionally took care of myself is I became hypersexual. So I just anytime. I was emotional. Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I'm out here. Grabbing buns. I'm out here. <laughs> it, it went even deeper because it was a thing like anytime I was emotionally off, anything, anger, yeah. any type of emotion that I felt. All right. I, me and my girl could be arguing. You know what? I'm going to go over here. What's this? Tap some buns. And then my emotions. Is, is that go, what you're saying? I'm going to reset myself. So I get what he's saying that I was emotionally, uh, again, up until like 2018. Yeah, I was emotionally a mess. And that yeah. was the way I, I yeah. soothed myself. So I get that part, what he was saying. But like some women, the, the whole thing about like you leave and, and another man come that I don't really agree with that part because she might have just been tired of you and just found somebody else that fit her, her life or whatever. But I mean, I agree with that. Just from my standpoint, I know I was like that. So I do believe that a lot of women who have emotional issues, yeah. that's, that's what they 
as soon as a crazy meets a new person, it's like they're falling off the radar of crazy. I mean, yeah, that's true. They, I, man, I remember, man, back in the day, man, I think I, I think I was like about my second year of college. So, you know, man, I came home and my man hooked me up with this with this with this shorty. And um, I'm dating a shorty. I mean, shorty was gorgeous. She was going a lot. She was she was she was gorgeous. So, you know, what I mean, I'm I'm in her crib, man. We we in into it. You know, what I mean, I mean, we into it. I mean, hot and heavy, bro. Hot and heavy, man. Sweating. So I got my pants. I got my pants down, like down towards my ankles and shit. Because back back then, I didn't believe in taking my pants all the way down. I never knew when you got to get a, you know, I mean, quick getaway. So <laughs> I got my pants all the way down to my ankle, man. I'm in getting into it. And she stops me, man. Because, yeah, you know, we were young. So I'm like dry humping. I'm trying to get in the mm-hmm. job. Mid hump, she like, yeah, I got to tell you something. I'm like, well, you know what I mean? You got to tell me now? She started telling me that a man flew up to her window a man (laughs) flew up to her window and told her that her grandmother was dying so i'm like she was on hold on (laughs) wait a minute you tell me that a man flew she said yes flew and this girl lived on the fourth floor of an apartment complex. What is I said, it, Iron Man is a model, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I reached down, man. I grabbed my beaver, cut that motherfucker on and all. Beep, beep, beep. And she stalked me, man, for like a whole year. Listen, man. A whole, and wound up becoming a police officer, too. Well, listen, I had it. And you know, those are crazy ones, man. I, I mean, so I believe she was emotionally damaged yeah. or traumatized or, or something like that yeah. I, but look uh, who knows i don't know i'm not a psychiatrist and me either but i mean i, I again i feel like it's some validity to it like in our community a lot of us especially the younger you know i mean the older generation or us older mm-hmm. millennials like we wasn't taught anything about mental health we wasn't taught anything about like anything about controlling our emotions or whatever yeah so yeah nobody was teaching us like you know as a as a man you ain't supposed to cry or as women, you know, they wasn't teaching them that, you know, boys in their late teens and up until they 30s and some 40s and 50s, they're not emotionally mature enough to be in a relationship. They're going to cheat and doesn't. Nobody was telling none of us that. So, you know, we were just out there freestyling and it was just getting crazy. Yeah, it's it <laughs> just like getting crazy out there. Again, I had a girl, you know what a Nuva ring is, right? Yeah. So, um, having a little. <laughs> Fun, uh, one of those kind of uh, you pulled the ring out, bro. discharged uh, <laughs> one of the nastiest tasting things ever. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and one day I'm at my mom's house, so I see this black Pontiac pull up. I'm like, this girl is in there wilding. I mean, she is in my mom's house. Things like a knife out the kitchen. I'm like, this girl. About to, <laughs> yeah. My neighbor calling my sister. Like, so yeah, I had some crazy stuff. Like, <laughs> doing just doing the most. <laughs> It happens. Yeah, man. I mean, well, yes, I was. I was peeping out the window under the bed, bro. I got out of that joint so quick, yeah. bro. And I, I cursed my man out for hooking me up with that crazy ass broad, too. I said, man, what's wrong with you hooking me up with that bro? He said, oh, man, that's my girl girlfriend, man. Now, nah, I mean, I thought he was good for you. Nah, nah man, that broad crazy as all hell. Me $150. Yeah. <laughs> going on over there, man. That girl stalking me, man. Hey, listen, and no lie, this was the same. She she tried to put a. Um, a voodoo, what the, uh, oh. was it? Voodoo hex, something like the little, oh my God, the little doll. Yo, bro, she left like a little doll on my on, on, Tell, on my front porch. The Look at Tay talking about the voodoo. Don't be encouraging little T. I know you ain't talking crazy, T, because we all know how you roll. Listen, man. <laughs> this your podcast, man. Make sure you leave a comment. Comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Make sure y'all like this joint. Yeah, I mean, is Doctor Umar talking facts or is he talking cat? Yeah, man. Again, mm. this your podcast. Man. Yeah. Slide today, man. We on, we on uh, number four already. Uh, are, are we on? Are we on number four? That's let what me, it look like. Let me see, man. What, what we got number four? Number we got. Four. Oh, oh yeah, I know what this one is. This this one. Oh my god. Uh, here we go. Video number four. We have a woman that posts all of her ex boyfriend's banking information on social media. Pray for, her. pray for this. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody going to jail. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. This woman who is upset with her man goes on Twitter and puts out all of his banking information. I'm talking checking number, routing number, a bank card, pen, everything. And Twitter, the scammers go crazy. People are literally paying their rent, paying their car note, door dashing <laughs> food. They're literally clearing out this man's bank account. And all this woman has to say for all of her crimes is this. You see that? 
I feel complete. No, sis, the only thing you're about to complete is a jail sentence. Hey, yeah, for the life of me, I don't know what what is up with these youngins, man, just putting all their crimes on social media. Dog. They commit a crime, they put this shit on social media. Dog. Validation is the it, new currency. I'm, People want to put everything on social media. Again, if you're going on social media to talk about your, your, your business or mm -hmm. um, your job or something cool, if you're going on social media to talk about your relationship, your emotions, your family, <laughs> go get you it's called better help it's a therapy site go and talk to them online if you want to be online but get you some some clinical help because at the end of the day this is the dumbest thing ever you committed bro, I mean, a crime bro. number one and and put the shit on so like it was, i remember i remember when social media really kicked off man you would you, you want the social media to, to promote your brand to build your brand you know what I'm saying? If you, you, you're an entrepreneur, you got a nice uh, a t shirt business, a clothing business, so you want to sort of you just try to pump all all of your information to try to get everybody to come to your brand. Now, man, they put their whole life. Oh my gosh. They put their whole life on social media, man. They commit they commit crimes, put this shit on social media. And, you know, I just seen on uh, a video I was watching on YouTube. This uh young guy from the city. I guess he was he was in trouble with the law. So he was like out on bail or something. The cops roll up on him. He's on live. <laughs> he start running. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Is he, I mean, and I mean, he run, he's running, but he like this. As he's running, he's running. He look down at the camera. He run, look down at the camera. I'm like, bro, you got the cops on your ass. And you uh, looking down. Bro, like, come on. Y'all got to chill. This is dumb. And not only from a criminal standpoint, but guess what she'll never have again? She'll never get another relationship. Ever. There's no man that's seen that video that's going to touch Shorty with a 10 foot pole. No, no I'm, there will be some dummies. Yeah, because there are some simps yeah, out yeah, there that, 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 that'll yeah, do it. Right. So, and, and I used to tell my son this, man, when he, he was dating when he was young, man. Choose the girl you mess with wisely. I mean, you can go knock them all. You know what I mean? You, you could do what you do, what you do, but I mean, but choose the ones wisely. If that girl gave you any indication that she's crazy, man, leave her alone. First of all, I get you don't want to have your bank account information. I was anyway, about to say, when I get a wife, love you to death, baby. I die and go to hell for you 50 times over, 50 million times over. But one thing you ain't just going to have willy nilly <laughs> access to is my damn money that I worked on. Oh, nah, uh. You're tripping. No, nah, like uh. you are tripping. Y'all got to chill. Like, and, and as we said prior to our other episodes, remember, we ran into videos like this when a woman would just totally completely destroy a man's money at bank account right you can have your account and you can have the house account but your account is your account i mean i, I nobody gets into a marriage or relationship thinking that okay this is this is going to end but most of the time it, it does end you got to protect yourself because i'm a i grew up in a household my mom she's always say well shit, i got to go to my mad money i'm like what the, what, mm -hmm. what, 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 what what is mad money when I get mad and I gotta leave, mm. that's my mad money. Got it from my grandma. Mm. But see, us men, we don't think like that. Because, we don't think like that. Because again, I mean, stats show it. Eighty percent of divorces, we need to have mad money, man. Eighty percent of divorces are filed about first filed yeah, by, by women. women. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, most men that commit, they end it for the long haul. So yeah, I mean, he probably—I I don't know if this was his girl or his wife, but. If it was his wife, he probably never thought that she would do something like that. <laughs> she burned him good. Listen, too. man, so you got to chill. Like, uh, listen, I don't even I'm, I'm going to be honest. See, my family is very female dominated. So the minute that happened, I'm getting the wolves on her. <laughs> All my goons, please pull up on her because you tripping. You my money. Oh, no. Oh. This joint podcast, man. Yeah, definitely to give out some better help gift cards. We need it. <laughs> we need it. Yeah, I mean, this joint podcast, man, Los and CJ in the building. You know, yeah. we do what we do. Make sure you leave a comment. Yeah. Drop a like. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Tell us what you think. You think she going to jail? She no. Man, that ain't a thought. Jail. She going to jail. <laughs> going to jail. <laughs> she is going to jail. Oh man, let's let's slide to video number five. Man. Let's go. Slide to video number five. What we got number five? If you join us, make sure you hit that like button make too. Sure you step in. That God like God. button. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate we the love. That's how we be doing it. And as we start there, room, I mean, I got dropped for my sixes. You know what I mean? Seventy piece. Yeah, seventy piece. Joel and B dropped that seventy piece on it. Oh. Sixes. We going to the championship. 
Hopefully. Eagles didn't do it for us. The fly, the Phillies fucked it up. Well, we going Sixers. Sixers going to do it they, for they us. They got to hold it down for the city. They going to hold it down, man. Next video. Deuce's ex-girlfriend did this to his car after he stopped paying her bills. Stop. No, okay. Well, I'm going to wait. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going in hard on this one. So. Why? Why, fellas? Why? <laughs> it's I need my drink. It's Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. 2024, and this is what happens when you stop paying bills for a girl. I just got off work. I come to my car, and this is what I find. Then she left a note on the back of my car. Look at this. Since you won't pay my bills, pay for your window. Period. So this is a little bit of the backstory. This is what happened. You feel me? Give she hit me up yesterday, Give right? And she was like, oh, uh, I need you to pay my phone bill. I need you to pay my rent. I need you to pay all this stuff. I told her I ain't paying your bills no more. Find somebody else to do it. And the reason why I cut her off and stopped telling her I'm going to pay her bills is because every time I text her phone and I call her phone, she always treating me like I'm an option. She don't never respond to my calls. Right, she don't never text suspect. me back in a reasonable amount of time. So I said, man, it's 2024. We ain't doing that this year. You ain't going to be treating me like I'm no, no second option. Then when you need your bills paid, all of a sudden your phone working, you can hit me up. If you ain't got that energy to hit me up no other time, don't hit me up when your bills did. So I told her I wasn't going to pay no more of her bills to do nothing for her. You feel me? She ended up trying to argue with me. I hung up in her face. You feel me? And this is what I find. But guess what? And you know who I'm talking to. You lucky I don't expose you. I don't even care. The money's still here, baby. It ain't nothing but a couple hundred dollars that's going to take to fix this window. And you know I'm racked up. I'm still going to get right. It's crazy. So you were simping. That's the reason why your window got broke, because you were simping. There's no reason for grown... Uh, uh, you paying your girlfriend bills? Uh, another grown woman bills? Listen, at the end of the day... I need men, boys, whoever, stop telling these women you're going. If if a woman, if a woman, I'm gonna mm. try to be calm with this. One. <laughs> if a woman asked you to pay her bills, I don't care what it is. I don't give a damn if it's her her eyebrow bill. Drop her ass immediately. Me and my brother used to have a, 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 a acronym. It's called DDBO. Drop that that bitch off. So if he said to me, DDBO, I was like, all right, cool. Because at <laughs> yeah, the end of the day, the stop. if you courting a woman, I don't have a no problem. Take her out to a nice dinner or th even if you you know get her nails done or something like cool. The moment she tell you she, oh, my hair, I need to. It's a yeah, wrap. She gotta go. Because at the end of the day, that woman does not like you for you. That's why I liked Kevin Samuel so much because he always used to say he's doing something for her. The average black man makes forty thousand dollars a year. Could you be with an, a man that makes forty thousand dollars a year? The woman that can say yes is because she likes the man for who he is, exactly. not what he provides. Exactly. I'm talking about monetarily. So it's like at the end of the day, yeah, you you got a a, a city girl. You've seen it coming. You seen it coming? So the fact that she had Bro. to call you because again, if she, I don't want to get it misconstrued. If she's down on her luck or something happened, say her car and you, and you hold her down or whatever, that, and she good. couldn't pay the phone bill, you pay the phone bill easy. But if she just come out, she don't have no no issues or nothing, and she don't want to spend her own money, she just want to spend yours. Spend your, nah, yeah, you're playing yourself. And see that, like I said before, men, simps are the reason why oh, we got these women, that's sort of, these type women doing these type things. And and another thing. If you cut her off, man, stop arguing. Why are you arguing with somebody you, you cut off? I have never been the type of person where I need closure in my past relationships. Because if I cut you off, I'm cutting you off. I'm cast I, with a friendly I've ghost. always believed that if you need closure, then there's that little Go to the hairstyle part of you, that, that, that little hint that, oh, we make him work it out. Nah, if you cut him off, man, cut him off. And then if she busts out your car, uh, bust out your car window, committing a crime, you talking about you want to expose her? Oh, fuck are you crazy? I'm exposing her. Yeah, I'm at the police. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, her right here. Here go the address. Yeah, and then hit it with the period, bitch. Again, like, we got to stop making this a part of dating standards. Now, if y'all in a relationship. Cool. Now I'm I'm too dark to be cast, but ha 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 ha. Eat a friendly ghost. <laughs> right. <laughs> but like at the end of the day, y'all gotta stop making this a date and standard. Like fellas, 
The women that come to you and say, oh, you got to pay my, my this, my dad, my blah, blah. I'm telling you, get y'all, y'all start car carrying golf, golf tees in y'all, in y'all trunk. As soon as you get, see one of them, get them on out of here. Get them up out of here. At the end of the day, that should not be a dating standard to pay yeah. your bill. To court you, you know, buy you something nice, you know, gifts, if that's your love language, cool. But I'm not paying your bill because guess what? If you didn't know me, would you? Well, I guess your phone would just how would be off, right? How, how would your bills get paid? Because my whole thing is I, I will look after the person who's resourceful. The woman that's resourceful, she might not you know, make the most money or she might be in a jam or whatever. If she has tried to find ways to get out that jam, just trying. I, I like the effort. Yeah. Show me the effort. Yeah. I don't like the whole like, oh, I'm, something happened. Oh, I, here's a man and just take care of my issue. Nah, because again, I always use the, 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 the frame of mind. What if something happened to me? If, something, if we together and something happened to me, you ain't going to be able to hold the household down because you're so used to me doing everything. I need you to have a little bit of resourcefulness to at least be able to handle a challenge. And, and granted, like I said, I'm not from the way he was talking. Sound like they weren't living together. Nah, you yeah. ain't living together, man. I no, I'm not paying your bills out of two fucking households. I don't care how my I'm caked up, smacked up, racked up. I I don't I don't, eat, I don't care. Now I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. He's probably that kind of guy that was flashing that money to make her be that way. Because who yeah, at work? Yeah. You see, he had his work clothes on. Yeah, and he had the racks. Yeah. Right yeah, here. He, 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 he had he had the hazard jacket so, on. So, so but he got the racks in his pocket. What what are you doing? So again, it goes both ways. Women, if you out in the clubs showing your ass and you half naked, um, again, only people that we know as men that are half naked are strippers or porn stars. So just that's just the way our brains work. Men, if you out flashing money, the only people that flash money is people that want to spend it. Yep. So the women are going to come to you that way. It's a very simple equation. Stop with the dumb stuff. And stop with the, the y'all got to get rid of this whole narrative of, oh, if I talk to somebody, he got to pay a bill that we got to kill that in 2024. Yeah. Anybody paying no goddamn bills. Man. That shit should have died in 2022. That should have died 2021. in 2015 or whatever. <laughs> 2020. 2000. <laughs> where Whenever it started, it should have instantly yeah. died. Man, listen, man. It's inflation out there, John. Ain't nobody paying all the goddamn bills. Trip, man. Man. Up, a six man. pack of sparkling waters is twelve dollars at <laughs> at the supermarket. What? Nigga, Spencer, man, this your podcast, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Leave your know. comment. Tell us what you think. And share this, John. We appreciate it. the love. Make sure y'all yeah, definitely man. tap in, comment. This John podcast two one five Philly Zone. Well, listen, I, listen. I'll just be trying put people on we gotta get Ooh, rid of yeah, some bro of, yeah we gotta get some, rid of some of this behavior because again is you know they love the word toxic i hate that word but it's like it's it is toxic behavior and we bringing it to each other then you wonder mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. relationships not lasting and things going because we ain't we didn't enter the situation with good energy we just on some bs again everybody's not rappers and everybody ain't uh, and uh, all men are not rappers and entertainers Women are not influencers. You regular. Just be regular. Do regular stuff. Just be you. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah, be you. You know what I'm saying? Hit that video. Oh, we on number six? Yeah. Damn, we, we moving. Time is flying, dog. You know, time be flying when you're having fun, man. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, video number six. They don't make real men anymore. A woman reacts to other women complaining about men not helping her. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Mm. Let's go. Sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one hey. is trying to help me. Yeah, it, but why should they? It's and why would they even want to? You mean, <laughs> After all, so women easy. have been telling men over and over yeah. again to leave them alone. Ooh. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. <laughs> they don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not all men because there are good men out there. There. Yes, we are out here. I mean, like you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. Mm -hmm. It's just a hot mess out here. But this really shouldn't come as a surprise. After all, isn't this what some women wanted? What modern feminism was pushing for? For women to be treated as equals to men, right? No special treatment needed. No need to hold open a door. Why help out? Women can do everything themselves just as good as men can. Preach. 
But now it seems some are complaining that they got exactly what they asked for. God damn it. That, bro, you know what, man? Let, let, me, that, let me say this real quick. I remember, man, I, I was in Center City. I was coming from the courthouse, man. So I'm, I, was coming, I was coming from work. And, um, you know, I'm holding the door open for this young lady. I held the door open, man. She just walked through. ain't say anything. I said, ain't this a bitch? And then it started happening more than once. It started happening again and again. So I, you know what? I'm not holding the door open anymore. I'm sorry. The few have messed it up for the many. I, I, if that door can hit you upside your motherfucking head, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm not holding the door open. I'm not giving up my seat. No, because no, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. So to me, it's funny. Like we've been talking about this whole feminism thing throughout this this episode. And I think that this new form of feminism has breeded entitlement. And these women are entitled. So it's like, I think that chivalry also goes with uh, appreciation. I'm not being chivalrous and you're being entitled. It ain't happening. And I think that's where the disconnect is. Because I don't see too many men that want to purposely not be chivalrous. But it's, again, we'll use the whole going out thing. Mm-hmm. Go out with a woman, take her out to eat. It's chivalrous to take you out. But why would you want to spend a thousand dollars at the? R- <laughs> it's like you try to order two lobsters, like one on. for dinner and one for a late or, night snack, or like the a, a, a couple <laughs> episodes ago where homeboy was in there with his wife, and he she like, well, why we ain't why you ain't paying for all my friends? Uh, Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, the in, the sense of entitlement right now. So again, yeah, if we say to you like women always say i hate when a man say smile why you ain't smiling it's just i'm just i'm just asking you to smile because you're a beautiful woman and i mm-hmm. want to see that smile on your pretty smile on your face but now you hit me with down <laughs> so now you want me to go outside and help you change your tire because it's flat but all i asked you was for is a small smile that's it come on man like you you can't have it both ways you want that's us to it. be chivalrous but you want to be a no disrespect you want to be a bitch and i ain't do nothing to you I was. I just told my uh, homies in the barbershop the other day, sitting mm-hmm. at the bar. One of my friends, one of my one of my cousin friends, he owns a bar. So we sitting at the bar. We're sitting having a whole conversation, right here. It's a young lady sitting like two seats away from me on the other side. She's. I turn. She says, "Well, I've been sitting here. So I, no, I've been sitting here all this time. So you don't, you don't think it was the right thing to do? Buy me a drink? <laughs> I, I don't even know you. I wasn't even talking to you." with my people i didn't even know you were there so it's like you're just because you're a woman you're so you buy me a drink heifer you want me to buy you a drink just because you're female and you're sitting here you didn't even start with a hey how you doing yeah. N- nothing it's just a sense of entitlement because you're a female that now as a male i'm sitting here i gotta do something for you. yeah and i gotta i gotta do it's something just for you. out of control yeah, exactly. right now so yeah like i'm a very chivalrous person and because i have young sons i want them to be the same way I have respect for women everything mm-hmm. my sons know you see a woman coming open the door say excuse but now they me like, you can't but it's he, like he, bro like yo on. man the few have messed it up for the many el plaga oh what's good bro ski yeah the, the few have messed it up for the, for the many i mean that, listen equality goes out the window dog when they don't want no equality There's no yeah. they don't want no equality if you want you you want equality and buy when your ungrateful own need, when ungrateful women need something man nah. like, it's crazy out here like again it's he said to yeah she on a whole nother level <laughs> like I, that is ridiculous you know you don't know nor one of y'all where, where y'all together nah and it's like again philly women it's, it's a shame because philly women have such a bad rap i'll be out and you could tell a jersey woman from a philly woman oh yeah listen dog a philly women they like you, you would think they was all correctional officers like they just in the trenches battling every day because they come outside, they, they ready to rumble. You like, what did I do to you? Yeah, you know, what's great? fuck no. out of here. What you looking at? You like, damn. I remember, man. I remember. I used to always say, damn, New York women are hard as shit. But now, bro, as I get older, man, our Philly women are hard as boy, just, hard as fucking granite. Sometimes your heart is granite. Sometimes I'd be terrified. <laughs> like, do I want to speak to this woman? I'm not trying to get shot. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Damn. Hey, how you bah? Like, oh, damn. <laughs> well, I'm all packing heat now. Everybody got license to carry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I swear to God, I've seen every Philly woman I know got a license to carry. 
Listen. Everybody, everybody got bangers in their purse. So you want me to come and speak to you? Hey, how you doing? Is it okay if I buy you a drink? No, I'm not. And look, hold on, bro. Don't run a boy them from behind. Oh no. Don't run a boy. They going. They they coming straight to the purse. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's hard out here. Yeah, it's, man. This your podcast, man. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you uh, leave your comment. Tell us what you think. Share this joint, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? That, look at that. Yeah, I know. TV starting. TV starting. Bro. How we cherry pick? Man, we don't I, cherry pick. T, how do men be cherry picking? We don't cherry pick. Like, again, men are very easy across the board. For the majority, we're all the same. Like, you know, at the What's end that? of the day, we really want the same thing, all of us. So it's very easy for you to, you know, talk to a guy. I but, mean, half the time, we're going to hold the door because we want to see what your butt look like. I mean that that could be. Yeah. True. I ain't gonna <laughs> if you gonna be ignorant about it, man, how to do you got this? Like man. it's really like gladiator out here these days. You got be, yeah. you, you out here surviving. You don't, you don't know what you what's, what's gonna happen when you open your mouth. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah, I mean what happened back in the day, man? You just hit him outside the head of the club and dragging by the hair right to back to your cave. Uh, Damn, the things are going. The thoughts and views <laughs> of uh, my co-host here uh, are not shared by. No, man. <laughs> Well, after them days, I hit the right side of here with this damn club and shit. Take you back to the cave. Do, do them things to you. Oh, man. Again, man. Leave your comment, man. Tell us what you think, man. We're going to go to this last video of the night. Damn. You know, man, we might have to start streaming for two hours, man. I, we, hey, listen. I'm, yeah, I'm man. We might be having too much fun now. I'm, I'm with it. Yeah, I'm at this joint podcast. Let's slide to that next video. Let's do go. I do I have it set up? Do I, let me make sure. Do I have it set? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't have it set. Yeah, now I do. Yeah, listen, don't get T started. Listen here, ooh. T be starting with me, man. She would just call me on the phone just to start crap. Listen. <laughs> it's Fish Jump Podcast. Hey. Oh. Let's go. I'm hoping to get this TikTok over to Black TikTok. Any black parents See, um, we have adopted a black baby. Her name is Zoe, is like, and I don't know what to do for her hair. Um, I have this little brush. Learn I have something from Shea Moisture. Um, I really don't know what to use, so please, any uh, black parents or anyone who knows what to do with black children's hair, please help me in the comments. Thank you. Oh, look at boy, boy, they just melting now. The women just melting now. It, let me say this, man, because now this is my expertise. Well, first thing first, young man, stay off social media asking for help. You got to do research on your own because you, you know you're going to get you gonna get flat. And the title of this video is white man is catching heat after adopting a black baby and asking social media for help. Can I give him some advice? Yeah, the advice I give him, dog, is stay off social media. But listen, man, you can walk into any any beautician, any hairstylist, and ask for help. Or just, man, get on YouTube, man, and I just got, I got a better solution, research, man. I got a better solution. What you got? Stop stop adopting black babies, bro. <laughs> Damn. Stop. Come on, man. Stop. stop. Gotta give, you got to give him praise, no, man, because no, he adopted no. baby. Hell no. A no. baby need a home, and, so he going to adopt And I appreciate that. I'm, listen, I'm, I appreciate him for, you know, thinking of that but as it, get, get the get the babies of the same hair you got okay get your babies it's a, a lot of them out there and i don't want to say what kind of babies. you know there's wars going on around the world there's a lot of kids d drugs are you saying he should go get a bosnia baby uh, <laughs> hey kensington they need they got his parents down there you know they're struggling with addiction they kids need to be adopted like go get your own kids shit that's bosnia too <laughs> basically yeah let me stop doc <laughs> Go get your own damn kids, okay? We got. Listen, don't come over here, because again, you didn't get that girl. Oh, he might have. So I don't want to stereotype, but you got her to, as a trophy. You got her to show her. You think off. so, dog? You think so, dog? I, they all do. They I, like. Listen, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this one. It's a million babies out there you can get, and you chose to get one of ours. It's like, come on, stop, stop, right. stop it. Hey, listen, man. Black babies need to get adopted I, too. Okay, but they are. We just don't see it because Angelina Jolie and Scarlett oh, Johansson shit, yo, and all up. of them. They want. They want to go get our babies. Like, come on. Like, stop. Again, go get your... If you don't... If you don't first of all, why would you wait until you got the baby to then go on social media? You knew you was adopting a baby. You know how long adoption take? About 8 to 16 weeks? You had all that time to go research, but you wait until you get the little bundle of joy. Oh, the social media, I need to help. No. You know, YouTube University <laughs> teach you any damn thing. I mean, yo, listen, man. You can go on... Man, you can go to YouTube. I went on YouTube... Let me tell you something, man. 
I can plait hair now. I, I can do it all, dog. Oh. I man, I give Gia some braids, man. Wow. I be up in that joint like that. I lick my fingers, they be smoking, boy. I my daughter is sassy with it. And I still struggle. You, so again, because bro, I practice, bro. I got 40 <laughs> female cousins. I I don't need to. I just pass over to one of them, slide a couple dollars off, and we out the door. But I yeah. don't have time for like uh-uh, bro. Like that, you wanna call uh what is it called? Uh clout chasing? Yeah. That's clout you chasing. Didn't That's clout chasing, bro. It, that, T says you don't even have to go to Google. There are so many support systems when you adopt a kid that will help you with your children. However, he just seemed that he just wanted the attention. Clout chasing. Probably the, oh, clout chasing. Clout. Again, that's why they adopt our babies. Clout chasing. You trying to be like Angela Jolie? Oh, oh. so again, you yeah, but that Joe, he had a baby brush and everything. So dog. let's think. <laughs> of, let's think about this. We make up fourteen percent of the country. Okay. Black people. Okay. Right. So that means the other eighty six percent is white. Okay? okay. Or white and other others. Okay, I figured deal you. So I figured deal you. If you just do about a law of averages, I don't know how many uh, kids there are in the foster care system or up for adoption, but I'm pretty sure the numbers work in their favor. There's probably way more white kids that need to be adopted than black kids. Just by the law of averages, there's more of them here than it is us, so it okay. just makes sense. Okay, okay. So you skipped over all your people. Your neighbor around the corner, he didn't probably got rid of two of his kids. You, you ain't checked the local adoption agency. Stop. Okay. Uh, you, listen, we got Miss Minnie. That's my sister. Th that's your sister. That's my sister. Who said they're treating uh, black babies like there, like accessories? There we go. Yeah. There I mean, we go. Listen, man. We uh, go get your own ba uh, again. They should put that in the bylaws. If you can't do the kid <laughs> hair, you can't adopt them. Get your own type. Of, if you you can't pronounce the name. Uh, you can't. You can say Warshnowski. If you don't do a braid, you you can't. You can't adopt the black baby. You can say Warshnowski, but you can't say Jamika. You can't get this kid. <laughs> It just should be that simple. He was clout chasing. Yeah, it, it, but he put it on TikTok. And then he asked for black TikTok. I didn't know we had a black TikTok. We got black everything. This is our thing. We, you know, like the the shave room and baller alert. Yeah. Those things. Shout out to them. They, we, our culture. We that trailer park babies need love. That's too. what. I, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my man, dog. No, that's my man. Let me. Let's, let's, let's get Oops right there. Thank boy. you. Uh, Again, little little Bobby and them, little uh, Randy and Ranger and all of them, they need to be adopted yeah. too. So you you were saying we we want to get off that bus ride, huh? Back door, dickhead. That's what they should say <laughs> when he came in to adopt it, yeah. huh? You want to get who? Who? Oh, back door, dickhead. Like no, get out. Oh man, well we all we take it home with a good one, y'all. This your podcast, man. Listen, we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. And as usual, make sure you drop a comment, drop a like. Share this joint. Yeah, yeah, make man. sure y'all tune in, man. Every week we hear. We appreciate the love. Yes, man. sir. Keep tuning in. Keep commenting. Yes, like, subscribe, sir. like my man Lo said. And you know, yes, we just going to keep giving y'all that good content. Yeah, and we drop videos every day. Every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? This joint podcast, man. We out of here, man. Peace. We love y'all. Let me hit this joint here. I mean, next time, man. Deuces. God damn it.